Good evening everyone. So I thought I'd pop on here tonight to do a little changing video of Nicole here. As you guys know, this is my tink. She hasn't really um, had too many changing videos done, so I'm excited to do one with her. And I thought I would put her in a little sleeper here that I've been saving just for her. And it's a little purple little sister. Um, this is, yeah, child of mine, Carter's, and this is preemie. Um, I think this is their new size, or no, if I'm not mistaken, this might, I actually think I held this sleeper up to some of the other ones, and this is a little smaller, so we'll see. But as you guys know, Tink is just a little bit, <laughs> and I thought I would uh, put this little onesie underneath. I thought it would look cute. It matches a little bit, and then I got some little socks. As you guys know, her feet are super tiny, so I don't have too huge of a selection for her. And I did find a purple pacifier that I went ahead and modified for her. And I also went ahead and made a tiny little headband for her. So I figured this would be cute to put on her. And as you guys know, it is night. And I know you guys are probably tired of hearing it. Um, but the lighting is not going to be the best. But um, I just hope that you can see her. That's all that matters. But before I change her, I had a few things I did want to share with you guys. Let me see if I can take that from her so you can see those cute little lips. Um, just a few things. And a couple of things that you um, probably already saw, but I just wanted to show you just for things that I got with it. Um, for instance, uh, one of my last hauls I showed this. My daughter had bought this for me to dress one of the babies for Halloween. And I found that I had this hat already that came with, I want to think it either came with um, Theodore. I know it came from um, Theodore's artist. She definitely was the one who gifted this to me either with the Tiger Lily or um, Theodore. I can't remember. Anyhow, I found these super adorable little pumpkin shoes that is going to match so well I think so he's gonna have I, I think I'm gonna put it on Theodore and I think he is gonna be super cute and I also think too there's a um, photo challenge going on on Instagram and I thought that is gonna be perfect for the pumpkin one which I think it's the second to last photo yeah and then I also picked up for Halloween this adorable little newborn size cat and Jack. Too cute to spook, I guess. <laughs> it's just a little ghost shirt. I can't get it all in here. With the little gray, uh, what do you call them? Stretch pants or leggings with little white ghost all over them. And there's just a little bit of purple in the shirt with the purple bats and this, I guess, those would be clouds with the little yellow moon. So I thought that would be super adorable. As you guys know, Cat and Jack runs a little big, so I'll have to put one of my bigger newborns in that. And then, as you always, as you always hear me say, if I find preemie clothes, I grab them up. But unfortunately, I didn't have as much money as I would have liked because they had some neutral, excuse me, they had some neutral colored pants. They were like gray, gray, striped, and tan. And uh, the pack of onesies, see, I ended up getting the girl sets because I do have two girl uh, preemies right now and I don't have a boy as you know I let Dakota go so I figured I'd wait and next time I see it I'll grab it next time but like I said they're neutral so I feel like the girls could have wore it just because of the colors but what I did get is uh, I got this four pack of preemie short sleeve onesies and there's owls on this one and there's white and pink stripe on this one and this one's a white onesie with pink flowers all over it two-toned pink and I think that's just plain pink there. Here, a little bit better picture of the owl. And then there was the uh, little two-pack pair of pants to match the onesies. The floral print and then just the plain pink. So I did grab those. And these were discounted. These were um, just one new Carter's. And this is newborn. Yeah, newborn size here. And it's so funny. This shows you how little Tink is, her little feet. I mean, just look at the shoes <laughs> to her feet. Could you imagine? I mean, 
that tiny little foot in this big old shoe. Hold on, you guys can't get a good view of that. How silly is that? She's so little. Anyhow, I thought these would be um, good for a boy or girl. Um, just, I guess, if the right outfit calls for it. I think they're just super adorable. They're kind of in between just relaxing shoes or house slippers, but either way, I just, I thought they would match a lot. And then they had this new style of pacifiers. Um, I like the shape of them. They're a little bit more petite than their normal ones like this. So I've got, I guess it's like a peach, peakish peach, and then a light pink. And this is zero to six months. The nipple is really tiny. I'm not sure if I'll use this for the silicone because it is, or I, I'm not sure yet what I'll do with that. And then they had, oh, let me stretch over here. Uh, another little one on discount, which I still paid almost $5 for. But anyhow, there's this clear one right here with the bunny on it that I thought was super cute. And, you know, I really can't see. I think it just says wildflower on the top. I guess when I, t let me see if I can get the price tag off. <laughs> that might have helped. Well, sort of. Of course, they never want to come off right. They want to tear all goofy. Well, at least a little bit's off. You can kind of get the idea what that one looks like. Anyhow, so I picked those up. And um, also, as you know, I collect the little Beanie Boos. I had to get this one to match uh, Theodore's costume. So he, ha he has his little pumpkin or orange little guy to hold for... Halloween and uh, I've been looking for this owl for a while I've got the pink one and the gray one with the gold eyes but I've, I've been waiting I had seen it uh, several months ago and um, I didn't have the money to grab it and then the next time I went in they were gone so I've been looking ever since and finally they had a couple and so I, I snatched up on them and then I thought this was super cute for Theodore as you know he's um, I've only got really um one boy in my collection, maybe two, because I was thinking about keeping Xander. Every time I pick him up, it's like, oh, no, I can't sell him. But anyways, I thought the boys could share this. Um, he kind of reminds me of Snoopy. I don't know if it is or not. Let me see. It says um, Attic Treasures, and he is... Anyways, he's super soft and very... Muggy is his name. <laughs> But anyways, I thought he would make a adorable little lovey for even the girls, I guess. But he is super, super soft, so I picked that up. Now, you guys seen this um, before because um, I had did a haul video with this um, when they when it was sent to me. But I, I didn't think about it till I was going through the clothes looking for an outfit. But I thought this was going to be super cute to wear for Halloween, guys. And uh, Jinx Apparel is who made this. Um, and I think this is, this. yeah, this is zero to three months. So I'll probably, I'm not sure. And I think either girl or boy. But I was thinking maybe my Saskia, possibly. And if if not, if I can put it on one of the newborn ones, the girls, maybe it'd be a little baggy. I'm not sure. Either way, I think boy or girl. But I think in this case, I'm going to use it on one of the girls. And I just thought that is going to be super cute for Halloween. So I thought I'd just share that. I'll probably uh, make a headband or something to go with it. So that was my small haul. Like I said, it wasn't anything big. But I did get one more thing. Sorry, I almost forgot. almost slipped my mind. As you guys know, I got uh, a new tiny baby micro preemie silicone. And uh, I did get some doll clothes at Target's. But I really wanted to just get her some different clothes and there was a lady on Instagram actually I shopped through two ladies on Instagram and one of the orders came in now I did peek already um, just because I wanted to kind of see now I'm kind of upset a little bit uh, not at her generally but just at uh, a couple of the outfits are just way too big and what I'm hoping is going to happen is I hope that uh, they'll fit Tink here because she is tiny. But let me show you and you'll see kind of what I mean. So these definitely will fit Baby Faith. They're just little, they feel like a pleather. 
little uh, cloth diapers, so I think those will fit her perfect. And then this, I, I can't wait to try them. I haven't tried them yet, but visually, this looks like this would fit. So it's, um, oh, let me, you guys can't even see. So it's a little onesie with the diapers. And it has the little mitts, hand mitts. <laughs> and then the little hat. I mean, it doesn't get any cuter. I guess this could also go on the feet. I'm not sure, guys. If you know if this is actually for the feet or for the hands, um, tell me. I guess I should have asked who I bought them from. <laughs> I guess it if it fits either way would work, I'm guessing. Anyhow, I thought that little outfit would definitely fit her. I mean, at least I'm hoping anyways. And then um, this was made, as you can tell, this was made. You know, I'm having a brain fart and I know who it is, but she takes the, you know, regular... Uh, baby clothing and she just stitches it down and I actually have this in newborn size but um, and I know that this was a bigger piece I guess the lady decided to keep the hat and the onesie but that's okay because I love just the little I guess it's the what do they call this the sack dresses I guess so that should fit her Super sweet. I can't wait to see that on her. Now, here's where it got a little different. Now, when I saw pictures of these outfits, they were all pictured separately. So, I didn't have like a size comparison of one to the other. Now, she said this is for a 12-inch baby. But, let me move this out of the way. Well, first, you can kind of see this is just the shirt. And see how much bigger it is than the actual outfits there. So, it's definitely a big jump from those two outfits to to these two so I'm praying that at least Tink could wear them but um I mean it looks a little short but these oh I think it might work guys look at this so it's really cute pink and on the back of the bum is a ruffle and on the front of this cross t-shirt it's a long seat long sleeve t-shirt and it crosses in the front and it has a little bumblebee teddy bear it looks like <laughs> with a uh, sucker so I thought this was super adorable. Now this one looks a tad bit bigger, not much, but I really thought this one would definitely fit Tink. And this is white with cupcakes on it, uh, on the uh, trimming there. And then here's the shirt. Oh yeah, this definitely will fit Tink. So yeah, I would think this is just small preemie. This might be getting close to a micro preemie, but um. I definitely think I can stretch it on Tink. She's she's a little one. Oh, my knee popped. Did you guys hear that? It's crazy. Anyways, I love this. So I'm just glad I'm going to be able to use it. That was my concern. Um, and it is open in the back, so she'll have to wear a t-shirt. But how adorable is this guy? So yeah, I'm just glad I have somebody that will fit in it. So I'm super excited about that. And she did gift me, I think this is like a mini receiving blanket which I love, and uh, thanks again if you're watching. I really appreciate it. I don't know if she wants me to share who she is or not, but um, but yeah, so she actually, I will ask her, I think she has other things available she might be selling, so I'll edit the video or I'll put it down in the description later if she says it's okay. So yeah, that is the few things I wanted to share with you guys, and like I said, I'm so happy. I might even try one of those on her um, for a picture later. That cupcake, I'm excited to see on her. But, um, yeah. So, it has been super busy here at my house. I have been trying to clean out the garage because, clean out my garage because I'm trying to put a, a lot of my reptiles and things in the garage. So, Oh my goodness, the house has been turned upside down. Plus, I had to take a bookshelf out of the nursery here because we were going to use it for the 10-gallon tanks um, inside of the the garage, which it ended up working perfectly for what we were we were doing. So that did work. Let me move her for just a second. Um, but yeah, so I had to, you know, I have this nursery cram-packed as it is. <laughs> So, yeah, that was fun trying to figure out what to do with the stuff that I had on the shelf. So, yeah, that was definitely a challenge. And I still have a few things floating around that i got to figure out. Um, I'm sorry, I'm at a very awkward. Because she's so tiny, I have to put the camera so 
close to her just so you can see her little butt, her little butt. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of trying to dress her all the way at the end here with the tripod in the way. <laughs> it, it's so funny how big these little preemie uh, onesies are on her. She's so tiny. So she's had this Jinxed Apparel little outfit on for a while. She actually wore this to the doll show here, the International Doll and Teddy Show. This is actually what she wore. And I love Leo and Stitch, so this was one of my favorite outfits that I got from her. And it came with a little hat, as you can see. It's above her head. Now, I ended up getting this outfit kind of late, so she was running out of material. So in order to have the hat, too, um, she went ahead and just made the back of it pink, which I didn't mind at all. I thought it looked really cute that way. So I was able to get it. All right. That. Okay. Let's see if I can put her little sockies on. So I guess I really didn't have to put socks on, but when my kids were little and I used to put their little sleepers on, I would always put little socks on underneath. I don't know. It was something that I always did for some reason. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot I was changing her little onesie. Oh, goodness. She's so little. Let me pick her up for just a minute, guys. Oh, I love her hair, even when it's super messy. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Her artist is, is just, wow. She did such a wonderful job. And there's a baby that I have in my collection that I have been kind of keeping quiet. Well, a kit, I should say. <laughs> that was my sense of the game. That's so funny. Anyways, there's a kit that I've been kind of keeping secret because I want it for my collection. And, you know, I don't know if I actually told you guys or not, but if not, I don't want to say anything. Anyways, I definitely want her to be the one to reborn it because I just, I, I absolutely love the skin texture and um, just the tone, the skin tone of this baby girl is one of my favorites. So uh, she really captured a preemie look in my opinion and it's just, if you could see her close up, you can actually see like skin and, uh, and I just love the feel of it. And I feel like it's going to last, if that makes sense. I definitely think the varnish that she used and the uh, technique that she used will definitely uphold. And it, it's just really nice. Let me see if I can come around here, if that would make it easier. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this. October photo challenge of course I am a little behind um, I think today was um, headgear or something of that nature um, so I have some ideals I just haven't had a chance to actually I'm about to put this on backwards this was not a good angle to dress these babies so forgive me because you guys are just seeing my arms at this t moment <laughs> poor little girl I'm going to have to move her a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely not a good angle. <laughs> so sorry, guys. I might have to adjust because this just didn't work, did it? So, yeah. Um, What else can I tell you guys? I mean, uh, as you guys know, my grandbaby and my oldest daughter's here. She, they're trying to find an apartment. And my youngest daughter is getting an apartment with. Uh, with her. She's going to be turning 18 in November. She is two days before me, actually. So we are scorpions, the two of us. Oh, look at her. Oh, she is, I mean, she's beautiful in camera, don't get me wrong. But if you've seen this baby girl in person, ah, she is so amazing. I can't begin to, to explain the beauty of this, this doll here. She is definitely a piece of artwork. Let's say that. <laughs> All right. I think no matter what I put on her is going to be super big, but let's try it out. So, yeah, if this doesn't, it's been weird. I don't know if it's my internet, if it's uh, YouTube, but uh, some videos, and they're all usually 
around the same amount of time. But anyways, um, some of them have been like three hours to upload and some's been 10 minutes. So depending on how long this video takes by the time I edit it and upload it, uh, depending on how long it takes, I will try to do another one because I uh, wanted to dress another baby. So cross your fingers it doesn't take three hours because I can only do uh, one video at a time. So unfortunately I hate that. But So if it doesn't take three, four hours, I'll be back. But if not, I'll pop on here tomorrow either at lunchtime. As you know, I homeschool my little boy. So either at lunchtime or again at night. I would like to get a video in though during the day. Although, you know, when I watch, I always think that, you know, you're going to get better light and be better visual. But I've looked back at some of the videos that I did during the day. And I got to say, in some of them, I feel like it looks dark. <laughs> so I don't know what good it does, actually. Um, I actually have, let's see, two, four, six, seven um, daylight bulbs. Um, I have three lamps around this table here. One on each side and one right behind her. I don't know if you can see this, that gold here. So there are those. Um, and there's two lights on each stand. Oh, there she is. That's my pumpkin right there. Oh, goodness. Yeah, super big, but definitely a little sister. So there she is. Oh, trying to, uh, Make sure she's all in there. Let me put her little headband on. Let's check her little pacifier. You know, I probably should have tried this. Watch, it doesn't work. <laughs> it sort of does. Um, but yeah, so the amount of lighting that I have going on here, you would think there would be no problems. Oh, I should have grabbed a little brush here. I love her hair. Her hair definitely is not thin. It's not baby thin feeling. It does feel like it has some thickness to it, but I, I like that because um, it doesn't really tangle at all. And uh, I really love that about this hair. So, you know, the strands itself is thicker. Oh, so there her is. There is my beautiful tink. I wish you can see her how I see her. She is just so beautiful. Let me go ahead and... Oh, I went down a little too far. There she is. All right, guys. I have rambled on, and I've been all over the place, but uh, there she is. She is ready for bed. <laughs> all right, I'm going to let you go. I think I've rambled enough for one video, that is. Uh, cross your fingers that I can p upload another one tonight. If not, I will be back on here tomorrow. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, um, go check it out. I have a couple of those challenge photos already up, and I should be posting a bunch more here really soon. Um, also, I know you're probably tired of hearing this too. I still have babies available. I have four reborn dolls and possibly a full body silicone. I'm still on the fence on that. Um, but if you're interested in a quality baby, beautiful as it is, beautiful box openings, you guys should know, please email me. I will put that down in the description. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. I will see you later.